Hey guys, it's Pastor Scott. We're out here at the God's Ten Commandment Park. Um, I've been struggling since I got this thing. It's not struggling, but just pondering. Um, there's a counterweight problem with my um, otter box case. It's not a big bulky otter box, but it is a fairly heavy otter box. And I also have a magnet in the back of the otter box, um, which uh, I use to connect or to put the phone up uh, on a, a holder in the car. And uh, what it's been creating is a problem where the phone tends to want to go to the left or whatever. So interestingly enough, my, my wife can um, verify. What I needed was I, I used some quarters last night and I used them to uh, put like a counterweight on the right side. There's a weight over here. You can only adjust the slider on the back of this stabilizer gimbal to um, so far over and it still wasn't leveling the phone. It still kept leaning to the left because the phone was so heavy on the one side. So, um, and when you extend it, it would still wouldn't work, which I believe um, when I first got it, it seemed to be okay. But then after some time of playing with it that first day, um, I could tell that the, the gimbal motor in the back was starting to get warm, even so much so as I, I smelt some uh, burning like electric or just a like hot smell, you know, metal. So I was playing around with quarters last night, stacking them up on the right side, and it seems like four or five quarters would do the trick to make, to level the balance weight so that the stabilizer is level. Well, there was a bag that I found probably last week that had some crosses that Robin had given to us. We gave some out last year. Um, someone had put it off to the side or in a drawer or something, and there was some of these crosses. And Diana, can you please confirm, what am I using on here as a weight? How many crosses? Three. Three crosses? And that's the perfect weight to stabilize the cross. If I go with one cross, it's too light. Two crosses is too light. So I used a little, um, one of those wire ties and twisted three of these crosses. I'll go show you. We have a couple left. This might actually uh, solve the problem. So hold on, let me, let me show you guys. These little cross necklaces that uh, one of our precious uh, teammates had given us and ordered quite a few of them and we've been giving them out and there happened to be a few left and I thought, wow, maybe I could attach them somehow. So there is actually three crosses attached to the stabilizer with a twisty tie. And the thing is, is I like this, this view, not the portrait mode, but the landscape mode because it gives me more, I mean, you guys, when I go out here, you can see, so hold on, let me show you. I just like this better, it's my preference. I've always shot in this angle. For selfie, for the flip camera, for the back phone, the portrait mode seems to work pretty good. Um, and it's not as hard as to keep me in the center of the frame. Not that it really matters or not, but I've always liked this view because you guys get to see more. But with the cell phone case, it's too heavy and I can't level out the, uh, the phone. You have to attach the phone into the stabilizer. This is a gimbal three axis stabilizer, a smooth Q stabilizer. And you have to level it out before you turn the phone on so that it can remain level. If it's too lopsided or it's not level, it'll burn out the motors is from what I'm thinking. If I'm sure if I did some research, that would be the, the fact. But man, I'm hoping and praying that this is a solution real easy. I can just attach those with a little twisty tie. you would use for electronics or whatever it doesn't look too bad and then when I'm re then when I'm uh, even when I'm doing this I mean people will see that those are crosses <laughs> even if I'm out in public just doing something and recording or whatever they will know that I come in the name of Jesus so we're out at the God's Ten Commandment Center 
here in Columbia Heights, Montana. Just trying this out for you guys. Those are all magnets, shirts, magnets, banners, and such we have available here for visitors. Souvenir mugs with the God's Ten Commandments on them, even godsten.com. We have these all available. We're off the side of the road. We got the open signs. We got hats, women's apparel. This is really cool. You guys will get a kick out of this. Look at this. Jesus everywhere. <laughs> and then on the side, walk with Jesus. And this one is cool for working out or whatever. You get yourself a workout shirt underneath and you're trying to, to cover up a little bit. It's got the bold and unashamed. And then on the back, Phil 320. That's Philip's wife Susie's clothing line she came up with. My wife's trike. Anyway, yeah, this, this works pretty cool. I think that will solve the problem. It seems to be moving fairly freely. If you hear a little jingle jangle in the back, that's the crosses. That I'm actually just banging them there. So that's really cool. Three crosses, just like we have out here, and that's enough weight to counterweight to level the foam before I turn the stabilizer on so that we can use it in this landscape mode instead of portrait mode all the time, which was kind of annoying me. <laughs> you know, if I go to uh, Instagram or whatever. Hello, Darcy. Hey, everybody that's logging on. Um, I have to for the um, Instagram to do an update there. And then the cool thing about this stabilizer, there's a little thing you twist in the back and you can turn it. You can also go portrait mode so you're not stuck in just one. And this is really awesome. I think my wife's watching me go live right now. Are you watching me live? Is that a yes, honey? Are you watching me live right now? Oh, my wife's watching me live and she's in the other room. <laughs> so anyway, it's Pastor Scott. It's about closing time, 17 minutes. Let's just flip this around. Got a dragonfly there. Let me see if I can get him on the camera. He just landed right there. You see him? I don't think this thing will zoom. Let me see if I can pinch the camera and you guys can really see him. There he is. Isn't that cool? Let me zoom in a little bit more. Hi, little dragonfly. We're off the side of the road here. Columbia Heights, Montana at the God's Ten Commandment Park for God and Country. Hey, Lynn. You like the... Hey, Les. Just trying out this phone stabilizer. I had a little issue with the counterweights. My phone case is too heavy. <laughs> it's an OtterBox because I'm a big klutz. And hello. So I couldn't balance the phone. There's only so far that you can go. And it wouldn't balance. So I found a couple of these cross necklaces that someone had given us and we've been giving them out last year and this year as the Lord leads look like they might be silver or stainless steel and I used a little twist tie and put the hey Bonnie and put the crosses three of them just like we have out here on the right side where the weight is to counterbalance the stabilizer so that it the gimbal it's a three axis it needs to be balanced before you power it on. What I was finding out was that after some time, the phone wasn't balanced properly and it was heating up. And then sometimes it would just give up. <laughs> it would just fall to the left. So I'm just videotaping for you guys. Lynn, as far as the tent revival goes, I don't know if we'll be able to use this 
for the tent revival except for maybe on someone's phone. Yes, I took it. We took it to the cross. Yep. So we might just leave my phone stable at the tent revival, just viewing all the time front and center. But then uh, use Diana's phone on the gimbal stabilizer. We can go live from her phone and get the moving footage with this thing from the tent, you know. So we'd have two camera angles, not simultaneously. Well, it would kind of be. It would be on her profile and mine. So that might be kind of cool. So yeah, so took it to the cross. Uh, anyway, and as far as that, trying to get that movie together, Lynn and anybody that's from the tent, we're going to just finish the tent revival. Yeah, it's really cool. We're going to finish the tent revival this week and then try and go see that movie Overcomer next week. So we will reach out to everybody um, and remind them at the tent revival this weekend. And whoever wants to go, we'll just get together and go to Kalispell, that movie theater there, and watch it together. And then if we all feel that we are in agreement, we will uh, do movie night at the park Friday night at the movies here. We'll just red box a good uh, yeah good plan awesome well red box a uh, good christian movie like war room or something remember last year we had the uh projector julene had donated my little boom box and we we're able to watch movies uh have popcorn and pizza in the i'll flip it around we just did it last year we did it in the tent but then when it got too cold we did it in here yes thumbs up yep but we got these little chairs we got uh extra chairs bring your blankets and whatnot, and we can play movies right here in the office. I got the projector, I got the screen, I got the little speaker boom box right there, and we're good to go, amen? And yes, this stabilizer is awesome, so I think that will be a cool idea for the revivals this weekend, especially Sunday with the guest speakers and such. Um, I'll have some freedom to kind of have fun. Yes, it is cozy. Um, that will keep my camera going. Uh, rocking and rolling the the way that it is uh, for the tent revivals and then we'll go live from Diana's phone from the handheld stabilizer mode um, and we'll catch some footage moving footage of you guys in the tent and that'll be really cool so anyway love you guys nope nope it's hot again never mind didn't work sorry it's burnt up and it just stopped